A man from Clinton found himself far away from home, fighting in the jungles of Vietnam decades ago. Tonight, David Woods describes his experience in battle in an area of troops nicknamed the Valley of Death. Local 4 photojournalist Mike Colon has this edition of Veterans Voices. My name is David Woods. Uh, Volunteer two-year draft into the Army in 1969. I found out there were a thing called girls, and my high school and my college grades were going down the drain. So I thought, let's just go in and you know get it done before they draft you. And basic, I was at Fort Polk, Louisiana, and if you went to Fort Polk, you knew about 95 to 98 percent of those people for training were going to go to Vietnam. So we knew where we were going. Had uh, seven months in Vietnam and uh, got wounded and hit over there on June 12th, 1970. I was infantry, you know, ground pounder. We had some firefights. We, we exchanged some fire with some outfits. Uh, nothing really serious. But on June 12th of 1970, Vietnamese opened up and uh, one gentleman right away was shot in the chest twice and he died right away. Another one of our guys was shot twice. Uh, he lived and our lieutenant was shot in the, uh, shot in the arm. It, all hell broke loose. We were, we were in a, a fight with a couple different battalions of NVA, turned out, and uh, our 23 guys were in the main thick of it. It was about a seven hour battle. And uh, it was, uh, it was touch and go for a while. I heard the old doop of a uh, mortar tube going off. And next thing I know, I'm flying through the air. Uh, woke up, didn't know where I was at first, but then it came to me. I don't remember much about it anymore. Our lieutenant says, you know, Woods, when that border round landed, it was so close to you, you flew through the air like those old World War II movies. He says, I thought for sure you were dead. And it was close enough that the concussion cracked the lenses of my glasses I was wearing. So I feel very lucky to this day to be alive. Photojournalist Mike Colon reporting David Woods received the Silver Star for his actions in Vietnam. He stayed active in Veterans Affairs after the war. That includes helping start the Quad Cities on a flight.